Hello and welcome again to the Russell County Football Coaches Show. I'm Chance Corbett, the Chairman and County Commissioner, and I'm here today with Coach Dylan Griggs, the coach, head football coach of the Russell County Warriors. Uh, how are you doing today, Coach? Doing good. Just happy to be here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, had a great uh, game on Friday night. Uh, this was the uh, park crossing game, and as uh, most of you know, this game was actually played at Ladonia Sports Complex in Russell County, but not at the home field because of the the uh, new turf that's going down still. So, Coach, what, did you, what was your impression of playing the game at Ladonia? I know we had a little hesitation going in there, just worried about the crowd and the parking, but what do you think about that? I mean, I thought it went really good. You can tell a lot of people put a lot of work into it. The field looked completely different than it had two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. uh, the grass was good. Everything was good. You know, we hate that we couldn't win on it, but I, I thought the atmosphere was just very old school if that makes sense. Kind of yeah. reminded me of back when I was playing in high school and you know people brought out their their blankets and their chairs just yeah. like we asked them and I mean, it was I think we had like a right at like 800 to a thousand people there so it was a pretty good experience. Well, you know it was it was great when I pulled up and 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 just the the whole crowd experience and the seeing those players on that field um, I played little league peewee ball you know all the way from like six six years old up on that field in Ladonia and seeing it transformed into a high school game, which is the first time it's ever happened, thought it was a really good atmosphere. The crowd was there. The parking turned out to not as be as bad as I thought it was going to be, um, but we had people on both sides of the field. The bleachers, we had brought in other bleachers. A real huge shout out to our engineer um, at the county, our sheriff. Uh, that, that They really stepped up the game and came in there and, and helped get this set up for us to make sure uh, and obviously our, our Ladonia uh, sports teams and the uh, the group there is kind of stepping aside and letting us do that. And, and we're going to benefit from that in the future. We hope to even make that field a little better for in case this ever happens again where we need this. But to be able to prove that it could happen was great. But, you know, also being there at the game, um, you know, the, the atmosphere, the, the energy that was going on was great. Um, I could tell you people were cheering like it was a college football game going. It was just amazing. Um, and, and to see some of the plays, just, just unreal. Obviously, it uh, didn't turn out the way we wanted to on the score-wise, but, you know, that really came down to the difference of a safety. Um, they had a good punter. The punter pinned you deep one time, I think, and, mm -hmm. and that really was the difference here. And I even made the comment to someone. I said, you know, I hope that safety doesn't come back to bite us, and it ended up doing that in the end, right? Yeah, well, you know, what makes you sick is you, you see it on film, and there was a play where we had asked our tight end to block down, and we had a fullback there, and he was supposed to kick out that nine technique, and for some reason the tight end blocked out, and it left the fullback kind of on an island by himself with a, right. with a, with a four, and, you know, he just – Got knocked in the backfield, but if it had worked, I'm talking about on the on the film, the hole. I'm talking about. I mean, it's you could have ran three people through the hole if right. they just would have done it. And so you know, it's a little bitty things, you know. And it's like I said, our, our kids are 50 times better than what they were when we got here. They worked their butts off, but you know, we're still learning the little bitty things sure. in crucial situations. You know, it, it takes time to get those mindsets right, and they're they're working hard at it. But it's just, you know, it just goes back to it's still a building process, and we're still yeah. working. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, just the atmosphere and everybody talking about it. I walked around and talked to people I knew in the crowd, people that I went to high school with at Russell County, you know, just raving over not only it being played there, but just the the outlook of this team and, and what your, you and the other coaches have done to turn the program and, and get it going in the right direction has been huge. Uh, never point, not, not one point, even when – you had a few seconds left on the clock. Did you really think that you were out of the game? We honestly thought that, you know, hey, we're going to come back and win this thing. Right. And, uh, you know, it was a little disappointing when the, when the, the clock hit zeros. And, but we know we got a lot more going. Uh, right. We got a lot more going. Uh, that, that game proved a lot for this county. People will show up. They came to see. I actually had people tell me they came just to see it at Ladonia. And I also had people saying, hey, I came because – of the energy and what I'm seeing, you know, going on at the Smith Station game right. and everything else. So we're, we're looking forward to a, a really good year the rest of the yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it goes, you know, we had a touchdown call back. Yeah. Uh, you know, we had worked to play all week. We had noticed on film that when they get cover zero, if we motion the running back out, the guy over number two would step down. And so we sent the guy out on the stock and go. It was actually the first touchdown we scored. Right. And so we went back to it the second to last play of the game. And sure enough, the same thing happens. And A.J. runs by the guy and he grabs the back of his jersey. And I mean, it was just a couple unfortunate calls because if that hadn't happened, it was a double scenario, you know. He'd have been wide open for the touchdown and or we were on the plus 45 at that point. 
that would have been a 15 yard penalty if they would have caught it we'd have been on the 30 first and 10 with 55 seconds left yeah put you in field goal range or you know who knows what happens in that 55 seconds because we still yeah. had two timeouts at the time yeah and so it was just it was kind of that perfect storm and you know i told my wife i woke up uh i woke up saturday morning and you know it's been a long time since i've had anything you know i've been really fortunate over the years i told my wife i said i feel like I just got dumped by my high school girlfriend again, you know, like I just, I, I just that feeling like immediately when I woke up, I mean, yeah. it was just eating me up and, you know, and I think you need those things, especially when you're in a rebuild process, because I think it kind of centers you back and it should motivate you the rest of the way. Yeah. And, and you know, I didn't call you the next day either, because I, I felt like yeah, I'm going to give him a day on this one because, you know, I, I, it was a heartbreaker and I know it was for you and it was for everybody else there, but we, we completely see new things coming. You know, you mentioned field goal. You know, I think I heard from one of your coaches earlier that your field goal kicker is 100% right now. So he is. if you got close, you may have had a difference in that game well, for sure. You know, and the funny thing about Jeremiah is Jeremiah is actually the first kid I've ever coached from seventh grade to 12th grade. He was at Central when I was there. Oh, great. And I ended up transferring over here last school year when Coach Rose was still here. And so there's a lot of confidence uh, with me and Jeremiah. I mean, I think, you know, we just really understand and know each other. And I'll be honest with you, if we'd have been on the 30, I would have kicked that field goal, and I believe he would have made it. Oh, man, I, I wish I could have seen that. That yeah, would have yes, been sir. great for sure. Another crowd, that would have been a good it way to be lead for sure. Yeah. So um, so let's talk real quick, fast forward to this coming up week. Um, you're, you're headed to Valley uh, over in Chambers County, Alabama. And um, uh, what's your outlook on that game? How do you feel about that game? I feel, I mean, I feel it goes back to last week. If, the, if, if you know, and it, we were a first and fourth quarter team last week. If we can be a full fourth quarter team this week, right. I have no doubt that we will win the game. You know, they always say when you go over to Valley, you're already four, two touchdowns down when you walk in the stadium. Oh, so, wow. <laughs> you know, we're going to have to do a really good job of not shooting ourselves in the foot earlier, early in the game like we did uh, last week. You know, I mean, opening kickoff, you know, we fumbled it when a good yeah. kickoff return. It's the little bitty things. If we can just take care of the little bitty things and limit mistakes, we're going to make mistakes, but limit those mistakes. Yeah. I mean, I feel very good about the, the game. You know, Valley is a uh, – they're very good on defense. They run to the ball. They fly to the ball well. Offensively, their quarterback and running back are really good with very their good. legs, and they can extend some plays. So, you know, but I'm, I'm really excited to get back out there and see if we can rebound from last week. Well, the weather looks like it's going to be nice for Friday yes. night. It's, um, the humidity is going to be down a little bit, so maybe even a little bit – feel a little bit better for your guys. I know it gets rough out there, you know, as you get into the season, it'll get a little better for you. But um, hopefully it'll get a little cooler too because you can only imagine um, being in those pads, what it's feeling like in those fields. So, And being away from home makes it a little harder. Um, it this is going to be a situation where it's really your first time out of the county playing this year. It is. So – uh, I'm, I'm sure you're going to have some, some fans and, and obviously family members and people traveling. So we're looking forward to that, having a good crowd there for that too. Um, you know, I, I talked to you early on in the season. I'm going to remind you of this, and, and you were looking forward to the Valley game. So yeah. I, I'm, I'm really, you know, I've kind of marked that on the calendar. I'm hoping that's going to be a game that we really come out and, and really show some good stuff on. So Yeah, we're just going to try to do a good job of getting the ball in the people's hands who need to be in there and then, you know, making sure – you know, it's funny, our defensive coordinator said last week, he said, you know, we got hit on two big plays at practice on Tuesday, which is our big, mm -hmm. we say the hay's in the barn after practice on Tuesday, we got hit with two big plays, and then boom, on Friday, we got hit with two big plays, and so yeah. we've really been focusing this week on having no big plays at practice, very good. you know, and being very gap sound defensively, but they were flying around all week, they were tattooing people, I, and, and I look forward to watching them in action as well. Yeah, they had some good players going for sure. Um, so I want to transition just a little bit because on our first show last week, we talked about the, the renovations going on at the field. A lot of work's happened in a week. Um, yes. It's amazing when I walked out here today, and we're actually today filming this on the new field. Uh, it's not completed yet. We're getting close, but we have a home football game coming up on the 17th here right. at the stadium. Yes, and um, we're looking at doing ribbon cutting and other things as well. So talk to us about the progress and what you see, how you feel about it. So yesterday, and I don't know if you can see on the camera, but the, the letters for the end zone came in yesterday they should have those completely stitched in by the end of the day today on saturday the logo for the 50 comes in and other than stitching that and the logo and then putting the dirt and the pellets out that's all they really got left we're finishing some last minute wiring things but alabama power came out yesterday had a call in a favor to a buddy that that was on the football team at troy with me hmm. and works at alabama power but he sent a crew out here yesterday they went ahead and turned on the power everything looks good we do the final walk through thursday and uh we anticipate a great environment with a heck of a light show and the jumbotron and yeah. music, and we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have my man Marcus back out here to do the DJ for the game. So 
I mean, it's, it's going to be a really, really exciting atmosphere with a very, very good football team coming in here to play us, and uh, we're going to need all the support we can get next week. That's great. Looking forward to the light show. I'm a big Auburn fan. I was at the stadium at the first game Saturday. Knew about the lights because I had been working there up until December when I retired and uh, was expecting it. I was like, just wait till halftime. It's going to be great. And sure enough, at halftime, they, they, it went crazy with the light show, and uh, it was a great thing. So I can't wait to see it here on this field. The field I graduated right on, right That's out here right. from high school, and, and, and know a lot of the people that will be here for that game. Uh, you know, as Dr. Coley said yesterday, your superintendent, she told me this is going to be a big crowd. There's no doubt about it. People are hearing the buzz. They're seeing what they're, you know, seeing this stuff on Facebook and on, on Twitter and Instagram and things that are going out there. By the way, your, your marketing people are doing a great job yeah. seeing it. I mean, it's just flooding. The, the, you know, the, the social media world with the improvements and things that are going on. So we're, we're proud of seeing what's going on here. And uh, obviously, uh, we, we have high hopes for it. We, we think yes, that, sir. you know, everything that's going to happen in this program, whether it's this field, whether it's your facilities, maybe building out the facilities in the future, whatever happens here is just going to be better for the kids that come through at Russell County High School for sure. Yes, sir. No, and, and, and that's the one thing I'll say. Everybody, and it's, it's been a, the commission, the sheriff, uh, the Board of Education, just churches, they have gone above and beyond, you know, uh, raising the standard of this program. And, yeah. and that's what I say, it takes a village to, to, to raise a child. And I think that our village has definitely poured into these kids. Yeah, so. and again, you know, you, you got to give yourself and the coaches credit too. Um, it was happening again at Ladonia the other night when we were watching this game. The coaches are amped up. The, the, the team is amped up. The players are amped up. When you have a good play, it sounds like you've scored the biggest touchdown of your life. It's, uh, it's kind of amazing to see them you know, being that excited over a first down or over a, you know, a good running player or good pass. So we're excited about it. Um, as a county commissioner in this county, um, I have a, I'm have a district. I'm the chairman right now, but my constituents are talking about it. I'm, when we had our... We've had a different events in the county, whether it was a Labor Day Fair or the market days, and people walk up to me and want to talk about Russell County football. And I can't remember, really remember the last right. time that's happened, so well, I'm really excited about it. You know, that's like I told them, I, I, we're very junior heavy right now. Yeah. I think we're, we're going to continue to see drastic improvements throughout the season. But, you know, I, I tell people all the time, I'm a chess player. You know, I lo like literally, I love yeah. to play chess. And so... You know, we're trying to remind ourselves we're not checker players right now, we're chess players. And so we're trying to put the right pieces in the right spots right now. And then, you know, it's just the, the future, you know, our JV beat you follow 43 to 13 the other day, or our middle school's 2-0 and right now. Um, so even the future right now is just looking so bright. I mean, I, I watched the, one of the middle school quarterback throw a bomb and then one of our receivers come up and snatch a ball over somebody's head. Hey, you're thinking like that's our future right now. Oh yeah. You know, and so not just right now, but I'm I'm just so excited about the whole thing from top to bottom, from, yeah. from now to to next year to down the road. I think, I think I think we're looking like we're gonna we, we have a, ch a chance down the road for sure. Well, before we wrap it up, uh, talk about the this last game and what players you saw really break it out. Which one? Which are the ones? Did you have any players that really broke out that you, you knew they could do it and they really stepped up? Or, or what are you looking for in this next game as far as your players? You got any you keeping your eye on a little more maybe? You know, I think, you know, Drew Pickett continues to impress. You know, he's averaging right at seven yards per carry right now. I mean, you know, great. Drew, Drew has been blessed with, with a lot of talent. He's a good kid and puts in a lot of work. Uh, Robert continues as a sophomore quarterback to impress me on a daily. Uh, DJ Epps, yes, you know, and AJ are going to make big plays on the defensive side. Tafano continues on a daily basis. Just his effort and how fast he is, and his, you know, his will to get off that block. Uh, Merck has really stepped up here lately, and then obviously Lawson, our man Lawson, our outside linebacker. He's he's really the captain of that defense. It's amazing to watch him line people up. You know, I told him the other day, man, if you just go get a degree, I promise you I'll hire you to be a football coach. So, yeah. you know, I mean, there's, there's a handful of players. You know, we got some guys right now that I still kind of got a couple question marks on. You know, we, we got to do better up front on the offensive line this week, I think, than what we did last week at Tom's. Um, you know, and I think we got to get some more consistency out of our DBs and out of a couple more backs outside of Drew. But, you know, I think that's the key word right here right now is – it's like that first and fourth quarter were two completely different teams in the second and third. Can we become consistent? All right. And I think that's what I, more than anything this week, is just talking to kids about being consistent. Consistent yeah. at everything you do. I even asked them, I said, can anybody tell me the definition of consistent? And somebody could. So it yeah. tells me they know what it means. Oh, that's great. Yeah. 
Well, we're going to continue to do this every every week until the season's over and, and really kind of hype up what happened and what we look at in the future. Um, as I mentioned in a previous show, I still want to get Micah Johnson in here one day. He was actually at the game Friday night he at Ladonia. Was. We talked about it. He was excited. He was. I know he did your. Uh, he to spoke to the players before the game, and uh, he was looking forward to doing this show one day. And I look look forward to having him here. And also, I've even thought maybe uh, Mr. Keith Mitchell on the board Love because it. of Mitchell Field and 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 obviously getting others that that really want to you know, showcase the program and have dedicated so much to this program, either in the past or will continue in the future. Yes, Just want to do everything we can to, to get the word out. And Coach, we really appreciate everything you're doing for the kids, uh, what you're doing for Russell County High School, what you're doing for the, the Board of Education, and obviously the football program. Yes, sir. Well, I appreciate everything as well yep. and uh, look forward to next week. All right. Thank you, sir. Yes, Good sir. luck. Thank you. Thank you.